In this video, we will see the solution to week 7 assignment 7 for the course Digital Electronic Circuits. Which of the following are the characteristic equations of JK and SR flip flop? The characteristic equations for JK is QN plus 1 equal to JQN bar plus K bar QN. For SR, it is S plus R bar Q n. So answer is option A. Option A. Second one, truth table of a hypothetical AB flip flop is given here. Find its characteristic equation. So AB Q Q n bar. So we'll complete this. A truth table according to the given a truth table here. So, so if A and B are 0, 0, Q n plus 1 is 0, 0. Both are 0, 0, 0. That means 0 and 0 here. If it is 0, 1, 0, 1, it is Q n. 0 means 0 here. If this is 1, Q n plus 1 is also 1. For 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, so it is Q n bar. That means Qn plus 1 is Qn bar. If this is 0, this will be 1. If this is 1, this will be 0. If it is 1, 1, 1, 1. So output Qn plus 1 is always 1, 1. It is always 1, 1. Then uh, according to Carnap map, from the Carnap map, we get Qn plus 1 equal to A Qn bar plus B Qn. A Qn bar B Q N option B option B A Q N bar plus B Q N third one what will be the simplified expression in the next state Q plus one so from the diagram from the diagram so we know that Q n plus 1 for SR flip flop, S plus R bar Q n. Refer problem 1 solution. So, problem 1 solution. So, Q n plus 1 for SR latch, it is S plus R bar Q n. So, therefore, Q n plus 1 equal to S plus R bar Q n. Now, what is S here? S is X exclusive Q. R is X exclusive Q bar. See here, this is S coming from X nor, and this is R coming from X or. So now, this is uh, this is equation. So in equation one, substituting in equation one for S and R. So this is S and this is R. So R is Q X plus Q whole bar, then again bar because R bar is there. So we get Q is here, Q n becomes Q here. So now you can take X exclusive Q in both the terms it is common. You can take common. So it now it becomes 1 plus Q. So this becomes 1 plus Q becomes simply 1. So answer is X exclusive or uh, sorry Q. Answer is X XOR operation with the Q. So the answer is A. X exclusive OR with the Q. Fourth one, which is the correct, which is correct for gated uh, D latch. The output follows the input when enabled. Option A is correct. Fifth one, for a master slave JK flip flop, which statements are correct? The toggle frequency is maximum clock frequency at which the flip flop will toggle reliably. The data input must uh, precede the clock triggering edge transition time by some minimum time. By some minimum time. The data input must remain fixed for a given time after the clock triggering edge transition for reliable operation.
the circuit which is activated the circuit which is activated when the clock signal goes from low to high is called positive edge trigger option a so fourth output follows the input when enabled and 1 2 3 and uh, it's called a positive edge triggering so this is uh, positive edge triggering seventh one so seventh one so we need to find what is the value of n and m so question is all the flip flops in the circuit are initially reset after which the clock signal is triggered continuously the output y goes high after every n clock pulses and remains high for m clock period so the value of n and m respectively are now you can see the output y is from the last flip flop uh, t bar and this is q bar that is output y so we will see the solution so what i'll do is this is first clock first clock period second clock period third clock period fourth clock period fifth clock period sixth clock period seventh clock period eighth clock period and then ninth clock period so this is uh, negative edge triggering this is neg high to low transition high to low transition is negative edge triggering negative edge triggering so initially the value is flip flop output what are the flip flop output this is q r s t so q r s t is 0000 y is equal to initially 1 y is equal to initially 1 okay so after edge triggering first after the first clock after the first clock so now the output of the flip flops is 1 000 so what will happen to output y this output y will be 1 becomes 0 and 0 uh, is 1 so 0.1 0.1 one is 0 so your uh, y equal to 0 here For next what will happen so next uh, here so next will be your 1100 1100 1, because this 0 becomes 1 this 1 will become here this 1 will come here as the input okay so therefore uh, You now this one becomes zero and this zero is one because you can see here this is t and t bar this is q and q bar if this is zero this is one if this is zero this is one if this is one this will be zero if this is one this will be zero so therefore this is zero means this will be one if this is one this is zero so zero dot one is zero similarly what will happen next because this is one one will come here. this is one one will come here so and the remaining ones will be uh, traveling forward so again one means your q bar output uh, will be zero and uh, your t bar output is one because this is zero means this will be one again zero, uh, 0 dot 1 0 0.1 and operation 0 dot 1 is zero so now what will happen this one will be moving to the q so now you will get output as four ones now again one becomes uh, this is one means your q bar output is zero and uh, this is t t bar is zero zero dot zero becomes zero dot zero is becomes zero okay and next what will happen this zero goes here this zero goes here now what will happen zero becomes one one is zero here so one dot zero is zero and this zero goes here so Uh, remaining will be no change so zero is now this is zero means q bar equal to 1 and uh, if this is 1 means i mean uh, t is 1 t bar equal to 0 1.0 is 0 this zero will go here this zero will go here so now your output will be triple zero 1 so now this 1.0 is 0 and this zero is going here so therefore four zeros will be there output uh, output of flip flop is four zeros zero So therefore, one dot one. So this is q, q bar is one. This is t, t bar is one. One dot one becomes one. One dot one becomes one. And after that, this one goes here. Remaining three will be zero. Again, we'll get this as zero. Repeated. This is repeated here. One triple zero zero. One triple zero zero. Repeated. So what is happening? 
is uh, how many clock periods are required? Eight clock periods are required. So eight clock periods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At the eighth clock pulse, where it is repeated. Okay, eight clock pulse. So it is eight clock pulse are required, and uh, the output remains high for only one clock period. It is high for only one clock period. Answer is eight comma one. Eight comma one. So eight comma one. B. So this is the end of part one video. End of part one video. We come to the end of part one video. Uh, remaining problem A to fifteen will be continued in part two video.